It's morning in Hoover. College football is almost back to an almost normal reality and the mega logos slapped on the front of a suburban hotel is no better milestone. The, it just means more, slogan went on the Winfrey in Hoover last week, a bat signal of sorts, to call this mid-July ritual to order. SEC media days are back, mostly, in essence. A year after July was spent having once unthinkable conversations about a fall without football, 14 head coaches and 28 players will spend four days talking football in Hoover. With COVID-19 still a lingering reality and case numbers in the SEC footprint again rising, this won't be a fully recognizable version of this event now in its 35th year. Before the lights go on and the SEC network goes live, let's take a look at what you can expect from SEC Media Days, the 2021 version. Part of what separates the SEC version of these press gaggles is the number of non-media members who flock to the Winfrey. The lobby would be jam-packed when the Alabama Wednesday and Auburn Thursday delegations are set to arrive. That won't be the case this time around, as the SEC announced last week. The lobby will be clear of autograph-seeking, selfie-snapping fanatics due to COVID-19 guidelines, according to an SEC statement. Instead, spectators will be directed to a designated area outside the Winfrey for those interested in observing the arrival of the teams, the SEC's statement read. This holding area will be removed from the actual loading and unloading zone where the team representatives will arrive and depart. As a result, there won't be autograph signings, at least not as the SEC has it set up to start. How many will show up to stand in the July heat for a glimpse but not a sharpie stroke will be a barometer of just how much it means in 2021. Also absent from the Media Days plan? Big names. The SEC produced a record 65 NFL draft picks from the outgoing class of 2021. That broke the mark set by the SEC in 2019 for most draft picks by one conference and bettered the second place by 21. That leaves a significant vacuum of big-name talent who'll be on hand from Monday to Thursday. Only three of the 14 teams will bring a quarterback including Auburn's Bo Nix, Ole Miss Matt Corral and Georgia's JT Daniels. At the last media days in 2019, nine of the 14 teams brought quarterbacks with Corral being the lone survivor. More than half of the players are linemen, important players and often great quotes, but it lacks some of the star power of what would have been if there was a 2020 SEC media days. On a positive note, this will be Lane Kiffin's second debut at SEC Media Days. The often quotable and rarely reserved Ole Miss coach was a one-and-done with Tennessee in 2009 so he won't need the Winfrey tour. He was controversial then and 12 years later, Kiffin has a new degree of media savvy. Set to appear Tuesday, a day before Nick Saban and Alabama, Kiffin will certainly have some Crimson Tide talking points in the queue.